What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am going back to a tutorial that I failed at miserably. So a while back, I don't remember how long ago it was, but it must have been a while ago because my hair was a lot brighter in that video. I know I'm overdue for some hair color. But anyway, a while ago I did a video where I was following a Simply Nail Logical tutorial. I failed miserably. It was awful. <laughs> A lot of you guys are actually really sweet about it, so thank you for being so sweet. You guys also left me just like a ton of comments letting me know what I did wrong and what I could do next time to make it better, and I thought I'd come back at it and try again. So that's what we're doing today. I'm attempting a Simply Nail Logical Tutorial Part 2. So before I get started with watching the tutorial and everything, I do remember that the first step is to paint your nails white and put top coat on and let it dry completely. So I'm just gonna do that first really quickly. I'm just using my Cuccio base coat, which I always use, and then open P.I. Alpine Snow, which is my fave white nail polish, and then I'm just topping it off with my Cuccio High Gloss Top Coat. So all of these are products that, if you guys watch me, you know I use them all the time. I have everything linked in the description below so you can check that out, but yeah. So I'll be back once I do that, <laughs> and then we'll try this tutorial again. Hopefully this time I won't fail. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, we're back. I've got one hand of dry white nail polish. I do one hand at a time. I think I mentioned that in my last video, so this hand's still bare. But anyway, we're just gonna watch the vid. Start off by painting your nails white because colors show up best on white. Imagine that. Add a quick dry top coat because we're gonna add nail panels. But even more than that, you wanna create a nice seal on your nails so that the Sharpie ink thing does cool things. Okay, so a lot of you guys said in the comments of my video that I should use a matte top coat and Instead, and it would just be easier for the Sharpies to stick to, but Christine used a glossy top coat and she even said that it would be like a good base for the Sharpies, so I'm just gonna keep using a glossy top coat. But why get one color when you can get the rainbow? You're also gonna need some alcohol. No, not that kind of alcohol, you silly drunk people. Uh, this is the alcohol that I have. Isopropyl. We're gonna skip ahead because she doesn't end up using this. I got a better idea, because y'all know how much I love yogurt. People always ask me how much yogurt I eat, because I seem to have a clean, fresh yogurt lid in every tutorial. And use any plastic lid. Okay, so instead of using a yogurt lid, because I don't have any yogurt, I used like a little palette thing last time, and you guys were like, no, don't use that, you need to use a flat surface. So I actually saved, I know this is so weird, but I always save these kinds of things just to use for nail art. This is like what I got my Sharpies in, and it's like a nice flat plastic surface, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna pour the rubbing alcohol into the cap, because that's what I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, there's so many ambulances. <laughs> Literally, my last four videos just feature ambulances very heavily. There must be something crazy going on in my street. Oh, and I'm just using this little brush from Bundle Monster. Hard to tell because I've got a black background. I mean, this looks good to me. So let's see, I've got like a little piece here. Oh yeah, that looks bright and good. Alright, this is totally dry. Which I was thinking I should do that in Galaxy Nail Art, so stay tuned for that. Last time I used nail stickers from What's Up Nails, which are slightly different because they're, instead of like a vinyl material, they're just stickers, but I realized I don't have anything besides those. So I'm just gonna try another one. A lot of you guys said that there's a chance the stickers that I used last time just didn't have enough like detail or too much detail. I don't know. They have these like little mermaid scales. So that's what we're using. You guys see them? They're pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this to my nail. Oh man, that was like a perfect peel. I didn't even have to... That was good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I always get worried when I apply these that I'm just gonna ruin the base color underneath. That looks pretty good, yeah? All right. Make sure the vinyl is pressed down okay. super firmly to the nail. This is important. The vinyl is pressed the down is super firmly to the nail. To me anyways, but whatever. And now you can revert to your child self and take out that frustration of being told by your parents to not scribble all over the wall. Put it on the Sharpie ink. 
And then you're going to take your alcohol oh, soap see, that Sharpie so cool. ink and put it all over your nails on top of the vinyls. What a great combination of chemicals to be sniffing in the fumes. Things purple, yes, because I don't know, it's like a gradient all of a sudden. Then I added some pink Sharpie on my nails. It still looks like it's repelling. Because I wasn't sure if my blue brush would be stained by the permanent blue Sharpie ink. It turns out you can wash Sharpie ink off of acetone. This is something that I did not get last time. I don't think Christine says it in the video, but I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do another layer and then I'm gonna let that dry before I peel off the vinyl. So what happened last time was I peeled it off while the ass, not acetone, oh, I keep calling it that, while the rubbing alcohol was still wet and then it just totally flooded my nail because obviously it was liquid all over my nail. So I'm gonna let this dry. I think this actually looks pretty legit. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go over it again, just do like another layer, let that dry again and then I'm gonna peel it off. Crazy. All right, this is already dry. See, it dries super fast. That's why I feel like, all right, let's just get in again. But I feel like I'm, I'm just like getting, it's actually kind of difficult to go in with another layer without wiping off what's already on my nail. So I'm kind of struggling a little bit with that. The vinyls are still repelling the ac acetone. If I call it acetone one more time, I'm gonna break this brush. The multiple coats thing is not really working out for me because it, it looks like it's just pooling. Although this looks cool, so I am gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna peel it up and we're gonna see what happens. Also, side note, Christine does use a latex barrier, which I did not use because I felt like I'm not gonna make a mess, so I don't really need it. But if you guys are messy, I would recommend using a latex barrier. That's totally fine. So fingers crossed, <laughs> let's see what happens here, okay? All right, peeling time. Oh gosh, oh God. That kind of worked, <laughs> right? There's a little bit of mess, which I'm gonna clean. I feel like that worked. Did that not work? I think that looks pretty good. Let me clean it up. Let me just try to remember, did she clean it up with acetone or did she clean it up with a rubbing alcohol? And yes, I realize it kind of bled a little up the tip of my nails. So kind of clean that up. I don't recommend doing that. And we're using acetone. Okay. I keep my acetone in a shot glass with the lid. Okay. Uh, this is going to be hard to clean up <laughs> with this giant camera in the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're cleaning things. It's looking good. Is anybody else excited that this worked? Oh, God, I really need to, I'm usually so much closer. It's just because there's a camera right here. It's like hard for me. I think I might just, damn, see, I'm, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. All right, we're going to turn this off briefly and I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean up just really quickly with the acetone, with just my hand like right here and clean up really quickly and then I'll come back. All right, we're back and a couple of notes. Note number one, don't skip the liquid latex. That was my bad. So I did use that liquid latex alternative last time. I don't know why this time I was like, I'm not gonna use it. But I did get a little bit of a, a little bit of permanent marker on my cuticle, which is not great, but we're gonna, we're gonna survive. We're gonna get through it. And the other thing, so this totally worked. It's really hard to clean up, especially like with such tiny little lines. This is the best I could do. I think the biggest problem is that I didn't press down hard enough on the sides because you can see all of my flooding is like around the edges like and the center is really perfect. To minimize cleanup, I would really press down hard on the sides and just make that a little bit better. So I am also using a Starly polish as my hollow top coat and I'm just gonna use Intergalactic, which I don't know if you guys know this, but this is my collaboration shade with Starly. It's hard to tell in this lighting, but this is a super holographic top coat. Kinda doesn't really cloud up your manicure, so you'll have these holographic glitters on there, but it doesn't like gray out the manicure, so that's what I'm gonna use, yay! And you guys won't be able to tell that it's holographic because my soft boxes are not good for holographic lighting, but uh, I'll put a little flashlight on it and show you guys. Now I know that this hollow top coat is not gonna ruin the color of my Sharpie ink. I just put one thin coat on my nails and bam, now I'm a hollow Sharpie. Oh yeah. 
we're done. <laughs> we better be done because my phone is dying. Let me show you guys really quickly what this holographic sparkle looks like and it's hard to tell again, but look at all that sparkle that's on my mat. Yeah, okay, so you guys totally can't tell that this is holographic because I'm the worst at showing hollow, but you guys can trust me that it looks really cool, cool hollow mermaid, and I'm gonna keep working at this technique because I feel like I got it now. I feel like I'm good. I mean, I'm not gonna go out with this manicure currently, but I'm gonna keep practicing and I'm really excited it. So I finally got it right and here are the tips that I'm going to impart onto you because the three things that I got wrong last time I think were one that my vinyl was just too small and too detailed, two that I did not wait for my sharpie to dry before I peeled off the vinyl, and three I think that I used too much isopropyl rubbing alcohol in there. So with those tips now I finally gotten it right and I'm so happy. This has been like looming over me I'm sure you guys know because I was being very dramatic last time but I finally got it, so I'm really happy. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know. I'm gonna actually put a card up. If you guys are interested in the whole Galaxy rubbing alcohol manicure idea, let me know. Camera's about to die right now, so I'll give my goodbye really quickly. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. But give it a like if you enjoy watching me attempt other people's tutorials, because I can do more of those. And that's it, so I'll talk to you guys later. My camera's still not dead, so we're gonna do a really quick fun fact, which is uh, something that you guys asked a lot about because a lot of you guys were new to my channel on my last video, which is why do I have such short nails? Well, fun fact, I just like keeping them short. I can grow them longer, I know how to. It's just that I think for my lifestyle, I just like keeping them short and I think it's really cool to be a resource for people who want to do cool nailer but have short nails. So I like keeping them short for that reason. I just feel like it's easier. You know, I wear contacts, so easy to take out my contacts <laughs> and I don't know that's just that's just my preference so anyway I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>